East Suffolk Council chose 40 spots across the district in June to rewild, where grasses would be left to grow longer to help encourage pollinators and other wildlife. Within weeks, birds and insects have been enjoying their new homes. Long grass areas allow pollinators to thrive without being threatened by pesticides. It turns the areas into mini nature reserves. One of the most striking outcomes has been the exotic looking wasp spider. They're used to sunny climates of continental Europe so this is an indicator of climate change and the warmer temperatures being experienced in this country. They've only made the journey to the southern shores of the UK in recent years. The wasp spider is visually pleasing and very large. Female wasp spiders are around the size of a 2p piece, with body marking resembling those of wasps and bees. But while they can bite, the creatures are not poisonous. The males, which are far smaller and brown, are often eaten by the females after mating. It builds large orb webs in grassland and heathland and attaches its silk egg sacs to the grasses. The 40 areas that have been rewilded has already proved to be popular amongst the public. Feedback has been excellent and people seem to be on board to help wildlife. In fact, they're expecting over 100 sites over the next year. People have engaged with nature during the coronavirus lockdown and it's promising that people are really starting to appreciate it in their own community or garden. If you let your lawn grow, no doubt you will notice all sorts of wildlife start to emerge. Crickets, butterflies, pollinators, bird life, rewild land and yourself. <laughs>